At six feet, eight inches tall, Swift Current Indians pitcher Peter Irvin stands head and shoulders above most on the baseball field. An imposing presence. His eyes cut through the darkness from the brim on his hat to seemingly stare right through opposing hitters. When a hitter steps in the box and sees 6'8", six, 6'9", six, on the mound, it's not usually uh, the best thing what you want to see, but yeah, he's definitely got an intimidating look to him, and uh, I think that just kind of scares the batters before they even step in the box, and it's an advantage he has for sure. Uh, Luis Clark State's pitch to Coach Collins said they had a big left-hander that uh, that they had a red shirt this year, and he told me about him, and, and once he came here, I mean, you see that he had a live arm, and, and I mean, he's got a lot of tools, and and uh, you know he's been doing a good job for us. At first, definitely, you know, he, my dad talked a lot to me about that, and you know, my size, especially being out of the mound, is is a huge thing. And for me, I don't, I never really saw that um, until it, you know, it really got ingrained in my mind, coming from different coaches and scouts and stuff, just telling me, you know, listen, you're you're a big kid, you know, it's going to be intimidating. The ball's going to come in harder. A 36th round draft pick of the Baltimore Orioles in 2012, Irvin's athletic gifts can be traced to his father, former NFL defensive end with the Buffalo Bills and Seattle Seahawks, Daryl Irvin. His name is Daryl, Daryl Bruce Irvin. Uh, grew up in Oklahoma and just played a lot of football through college, high school. Ended up going to um, Buffalo Bills after being in Oklahoma State and uh, Played a couple years there and then came over to Seattle and played, and that's where he stayed, and that's where I was raised at. And just coming from that background, uh, I mean, shoot, if a guy competes in the NFL, you know he can compete at the highest level there is, and, and uh, you know, Peters bring that competitive attitude to our team. He was, uh, he's always been there for me. It's, uh, it's been a real blessing having me around, uh, just learning from him, different stories that he's told me, uh, the things that he, he grew up learning and just knowing throughout the game was uh, just the adversities he went through, I guess, and teaching me the uh, different ways of, you know, becoming a better person on and off the field. While his heritage and demeanor make him tough to play against, Swift Current Indians teammates enjoy having Irvin on their side. But Pete's always there to, you know, crack a joke, keep you into it, crack a joke about the game, not about the game. I mean, half the times, I don't know if we're talking about baseball or not, but he just always, he's always there to keep a smile on your face. He keeps the team excited and he keeps you, you know, in the moment. He's proactive that way. He's a great teammate, uh, and when he's on the mound, he competes. I feel like he's just like the glue to everything. He brings everyone together, you know. He'll see two people not talking, and he'll crack a joke that involves both people. So it starts a conversation with, amongst the group. So it's always, you know, he's, he's a big icebreaker. for like the biggest icebreaker, 6'9". So you can't miss him, and he always gets started. I think he's a great guy. The father, a gridiron warrior. The son, an ominous figure on the mound. You know, he's, I know, I met a lot of guys, a lot of his friends. Uh, former NFL players that he's played with and just a hard worker just you know puts that all out in the field there's you know some times and stories he's told me he's ended up being a, um, a free agent in the, in the NFL and came into Buffalo him about 50 some other guys and you know fighting for a couple spots here and there and uh, you know he's he's just one of those guys that never gives never gives up does everything to the fullest and uh, ultimately just believes in himself and uh, he was able to make a dream come reality. From one generation to another, the athleticism and attitude is past. Just tells me to get in the zone and uh, go out there and compete with everything I got, and that you know this is just a stepping stone for me. You know, everywhere I go until I get to where I want to be. Major League Baseball is, you know, college, summer ball. It's, it's all a great opportunity, and that I should just live it to the fullest and give everything I have.